I have the pleasure of talking with Alyssa Reed now, the recent graduate assistant for Lynchburg Swimming, uh, former swimmer for that program, for the club program. Uh, she spent a lifetime in the pool and continues to do so. Uh, even some successful ODAC races on the podium last season. So um, with all that being said, Alyssa, how are we doing today? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Doing very well. Uh, where are you joining us from? Um, I'm in my basement right now. <laughs> it was like the quietest place because I have pets running around all upstairs. Um, but yes, this is my parents' basement actually. But okay, nice TV, some sofas. So. Not not too shabby uh, for sure. So obviously, you know, you've you've got the local angle uh, commuting to uh, Lynchburg. I just kind of like a question that wasn't on my mind. Did, did you commute when you were an undergrad, or did you stay on campus? I lived on campus. Um, I really just wanted to get the real like college experience. Um, and it was awesome. I feel like I made a lot of friends and really developed some relationships that will stick with me forever. So, Yeah, I imagine it's got to be much tougher uh, if you're not here to you know, enjoy friendships and things of that nature. So that makes sense. Well, let's uh, begin with the present and we'll get a little bit into the past and, and we'll finish up with some fun stuff at the end. But I, I want to first off talk about the transition from being an athlete to a coach. And a lot of our current coaches have done it in their careers. Uh, there are other GAs that are joining you this season that are doing the same thing. Is there as much of a difference as you thought it would be related to the the daily activities and just kind of the environment, the feel that you have when you're around your fellow coaches and of course your team? Yeah, so it definitely feels pretty much the same. Um, when I was on the team last year, it was just a very positive atmosphere and culture. Um, and I just loved being there every single day with my teammates and still this year the same. Um, I've been in the office a lot with Coach Brad and Coach Aaron, um, and we've just been talking about swimming, talking about um, some fun events we have coming up for the season, and just talking about recruits. So it really is like the same feel, um, just very positive and high energy environment. Now, you guys as a team uh, are very progressive in terms of trying to get ahead on things and be active on social media and let people know what's going on with your program. What's been the biggest struggle knowing that we've been in alert level two uh, the last two weeks, essentially, and certainly the inability to do a whole lot in person, uh, even when the students did come back to campus? What's been the, the toughest challenge that you've seen? Um, definitely just not being able to be like all together in a big group. Um, like last year, we would do a bunch of group activities. Um, I don't know, like go out to eat and just like really hang out as a team and bond. Um, and this year we've been having to do this, some of that virtually. Um, so I don't know if you saw on Instagram last week, Brad, we had a MTV Cribs um, edition for Lynchburg Swimming. So a bunch of the swimmers kind of showed off their dorm rooms. Um, and then we like posted them on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and people voted for their favorites. Um, but we're still trying to just keep social distancing. Um, they do have another kind of like scavenger hunt fighter challenge coming up. Um, so hopefully that will like give a chance for all the swimmers to get to know each other and really just bond as a team. When you were looking at a way to, to kind of, like you said, start that program, uh, what did you, what was your goal? I mean, what, what, when you, when you went into it, obviously you wanted to swim, you wanted to be competitive again, but did you have a larger goal and how much of that did you feel like was on you to make it happen? I really just wanted to have a fun time with it. Um, I feel like in high school, there was just a lot of pressure on me all the time. Um, and if you have a bad swim, then you just feel really bad about yourself. So I really just wanted it to be something fun and something that I enjoyed. Um, and we had a great group of people on our club team. I think there were like six to eight summers, but we really did just have a fun time and just hang out a lot get food after practice. Um, we did fun stuff in practice too. So it was a good experience for me. So when it came time to talk about a varsity program, um, what was, was there any hesitation to be on that team knowing that it was probably going to be less of that fun nature, just having fun. There's going to be more pressure involved, especially with you being a senior member of the squad. 
Honestly, not really. So um, Coach Brad was hired on um, during the second year of the club team, and he just had an awesome presence with the club team. He was just so enthusiastic and just really made me want to be on the team. Like he just talked about it so highly, so positively. And I just really wanted to be a part of that. Um, so there was definitely not any hesitation. I was just very excited to be there and be on the team. Well, certainly there was a nice capper uh, in that first year on the varsity program. Uh, you had been to nationals with the club uh, at the club level, but then being able to go with a larger unit to the ODAC tournament and stand on the podium a few times. Uh, were you able to understand, you know, the, the, or was there a moment when you were standing up there where you thought, I didn't think I would be here uh, at, at the college level, or did it take a little bit of time to really understand and realize how important that moment was for you? Yeah, it was definitely something that like I wasn't expecting. Like when I first came into college, I really thought I was just done with swimming altogether. Um, so when I was standing up there in the podium, it was just really meaningful to me just because swimming was like such a big part of my life. And I got to swim at the collegiate level and place um, in the top at ODAC. So it was a really, really very meaningful experience for me. Well, let's bring it back to the present time and being a coach and being a coach of uh, athletes that you were just swimming with last year. Have you tried to take a moment to say, hey, I'm a coach now, this, you know, treat me differently? Or do you want them to treat you uh, pretty much the same because you're, you're just a GA, you're not a head coach or the assistant coach? Um, yeah, so I definitely made some really great friends with like most of the teammates. Um, and I really don't want that to change. Like I just want to be someone that they can always come to and talk to, whether it's swimming related or just like school related or just really anything. So I just want to be very supportive and a res resource for them. Um, so I don't want to be like an authority figure and just like take over them, but I just really want to be their friend still and just be there for them. So we're going to move on to some, some quicker questions, some more fun questions. Hopefully they're fun. I don't know uh, if they will be or not, uh, but uh, no time limit, no rush, you know, give us, uh, whatever you're, you're, you're thinking, the full answer, and um, hopefully people will get to know you a little bit better. These are things I'm sure your friends already know. Um, so let's start off with, you mentioned the club days. When you were done practice, you would go and, and grab a bite to eat with your friends. What's your go-to post-race meal? Where do, you, where do you like to go? or What do you like to eat? Maybe not even a place that you like to go, but what's the go-to post-race meal for you? Uh, my favorite food is boneless wings, so I definitely like to celebrate and just eat my favorite food after a meet. <laughs> do you go to, I, I don't know, I don't want to give an endorsement or not, but like, do you have a specific place that you like to get your boneless wings? Yeah, I love Buffalo Wild Wings. That's definitely my like top favorite restaurant around here. Um, and I used to go like every single Thursday when they would have like the boneless um, wings deal. <laughs> it was kind of bad, but I loved going and I went with a lot of friends. So it was it was a fun time. They, they made that day just for you. I think that's what it was. <laughs> we know at least one person is going to come here every single week. So that's keep the... keep it going. Uh, what about hobbies? What else outside of swimming do you enjoy? Um, I love watching movies and Netflix. I really love reading. Um, I just went to vacation a couple weeks on vacation a couple weeks ago, and I read like four books when I was there. Wow! Um, and then something that a lot of people don't know about me, I feel like, is that I love to go thrift shopping. So I love to go to like Goodwill and like secondhand consignment shops. Um, so that's like where I get all my clothes. You can find a lot of good, like really nice name brand things like North Face, American Eagle, um, and that's honestly where I got. So I lived on campus last year in a house and that's where I got like all of my furniture from. So I'm um, just like secondhand shopping, Goodwill and everything. So it just really helped me save a lot of money in that aspect. So, Okay. Let's see if we can get you to, to throw us a, a bone here. What's your favorite story about coach Dunn? Something that uh, doesn't have to be bad, but you know, it can be inspirational, but your, your favorite moment or story that you've had, uh, in relation to your time with Coach Dunn over the last two years? Um, yeah, so when I was on the club team my second year, um, I qualified for nationals, and they were in Ohio. 
Um, so Brad and Hayden Updike, who's another swimmer, um, we got in a car and we just had a nice little road trip up to Ohio. Um, and the whole time, Brad was just so excited about Mothman. Have you ever heard of him? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a mystical creature. You'll have to ask him about it. But he was just so obsessed with the Mothman. And that's what he talked about like the whole like weekend we were there. Um, Cause it's in, there's like a statue of him in West Virginia. So he was so excited about coming back home, going through West Virginia and seeing it. Um, so we did stop on the way home and he got like a bunch of selfies and some really good pictures with it. So it was just really funny just how often he would like bring it up and talk about it and like ask people if they knew the Mothman. So it was very <laughs> I Now that you mentioned it, I do remember those photos. I do remember him. Um, I think he posted a few uh, on social media. Uh, yeah, the Mothman, um, it, it escaped me for a moment, but I do remember as someone who grew up in West Virginia, that was mentioned a few times, but I didn't grow up in that part. So it didn't really uh, come up in conversation <laughs> too often. There were other things to consume our time with, uh, but there's actually a movie out there. You, you like to watch movies. There's a movie about the Mothman with Richard Gere. I don't know if you've seen it, but um, if you're really bored one day, check it out. <laughs> I haven't seen it yet, so I should. <laughs> uh, what about... Um, when you kind of touched on it a little bit, but I, I want to see if there's anything else you can elaborate on. But you know, the toughest part about being a swimmer, and I don't necessarily mean the the pressure that you felt, but just in general. I mean, like waking up really early for practices. Um, Brad has done a good job of not making us really do like morning swim practices. He just does lifting in the morning. Um, so that's been really helpful. And it hasn't been like at 5 a.m. Um, we normally lift at 7 or 8. Um, so that was like the hardest thing for me, I think. And then another thing is just definitely jumping in a cold pool. <laughs> that can be really hard. <laughs> okay. Last thing I have is kind of putting your, your coaching cap on and talking about looking back at your experiences and then talking about your current position with these athletes, freshmen that have never been here. And of course with, the pandemic, everything's different for them. Um, what's your, what would be your, your, your biggest advice for making the most out of, out of your opportunities? Now, can you point to a situation or how do you go about that when an athlete has a question related to coach? I'm, I don't, I don't really know what to do here. Um, can you help me? Can you, can you point to a moment in your career that maybe you were experiencing the same thing I was experiencing? How did you get through it? That's a tough question. <laughs> um, let me see. Some advice I would give um, is just to really enjoy your four years here. <laughs> um, it just, I feel like it went by so fast for me and I wish I was still in college. So really just enjoy the time that you have here and really just spend time with your teammates, make some really great friends. Um, don't be afraid to like do activities on campus. They have a lot of fun, like tie-dyeing t-shirts. I think that's going on today. Just like really, be involved with the school and just like try to do as much as you can in your four years here.